So I'm here out in the mountains today. I'm supposed to meet another herper, Steven. Um, gonna go to a pit viper spot and then hopefully bounce around, do a couple other spots. Um, so do a little collaboration work. Uh, we'll see what we find. Here's a big northern black racer. Trying to catch some early morning warmth in this one spot of sun exposure. I don't really want to disturb that considering he doesn't have a lot of options here. It's completely shaded almost everywhere around here. As that racer me and Steven just came upon. We're just gonna let him chill. He's in a sunny spot. We're actually out here looking for pit vipers. I don't think this site gets enough sun and it's not facing the right way, but Beautiful. grateful to find Here's space. a black face timber me and Steven just spotted. It's kind of cool. It's a lot cooler than what they were calling, so we haven't seen much, but grateful that we got this one. And so me and Steven are in this rock field. We just found this gorgeous. I mean, hardly, m not much of a pattern at all. Black face timber, rather. I mean, this thing is gorgeous. It's, I mean, he's just sunning here. It's like I said, it's a lot cooler than what I expected. Dude, we just found a rough green in Frederick County. Unreal. Dude, that is awesome. That's my first rough green, brother. First ever? Like yeah. yeah. Let's yes. go, baby. So me and Steve, I didn't even know there were rough greens here. I'm gonna have to check in the book. I don't know if they're, I, I slammed on the brakes. He was way back there. So my first rough green, right, unreal. A rough green in Frederick County. You gotta be kidding me. Check. I cannot believe, I ran over it. I was so focused on getting to a pit viper spot that I didn't even. Oh, come on, fall in focus, there we go. Check out the difference in color between the head and where it's starting to shed. Nice rough green. They are in Frederick County. We looked it up, but not in this block. So Still it's a it's a new awesome record. Find, an awesome find. And there he goes into that wineberry bush. In this rock crevice, there are two timbers. Not the best photos. I, I just think it's too cold. It's only like in the mid 60s, but uh. There's one timber, yellow phase, I think. There's a black phase down there too. We just had that massive rain. I'm gonna check out my copperhead gestation spot. See if anything's up here. So there is a water snake camouflage right there. Do not see any copperhead, but they are very, very hard to find. You can see the northern water snake right there, it's body. Here's a big old moth those mimicry eyes so this morning me and my daughter are going to a park to look for hog noses it's about 35 minutes away from my house probably the closest population of hog noses there are i know they're extremely difficult to find so this might end up being a bust but um i'll just show you a little bit of the habitat if we don't find any or hopefully we can find something else if we don't find hogs but i know the hogs are hard to find hogs in this brushy area right outside of a power line cut. Don't see much, I'm gonna head back up to the trail. So I've been out here probably for half an hour looking on the, uh, where the force meets the uh, grassland here. Um, just walking along the edge, have not seen anything. No reptiles, but I am looking for hoggies. So hopefully we'll find hoggies. I'm gonna give you a shot of the habitat I'm in. There's some rocks, sparse vegetation, very open areas like this. But so far, no hog noses. So I'm looking at a habitat like this, but uh, I've been here for an hour, no hogs. So I think I might wrap this up and skunked again on hogs. <laughs> 